After a 23-5 season, the Nearville North boys basketball teams looks to continue their momentum into this year. I sat down with head coach Jeff Powers to learn about this year's expectations. The most valuable thing we took from last year and, and the experience we have is I think is that the guys who are, we have a lot of young guys returning, got the experience of playing against a veteran team. York was veteran. They beat us twice at the York tournament and for the championship and in the regional championship. And I think our guys figured out what is needed to, to, to excel at such a high level. The Huskies returned five players who started on varsity last year. The experience of the team makes it easier for Powers to implement different offensive and defensive schemes. Having the experience that we have this year uh, and the work the guys put in the summer and the off season uh, has given us the ability now in the first two weeks of practice to move on to simpler concepts to more complex complex. We put a couple new things in, a couple new wrinkles in, uh, the guys picked it up really quick. Uh, we have a lot of experience so when we're talking about a certain way to do things, they understand it because we've already done it in the past. This year, Powers has a deep team, allowing him to use a variety of players. The depth of, depth of this team is pretty impressive. We've been scrimmaging and, and practicing, and no matter what, five guys we put on the court during practice, everyone's competing at such a high level. That's only going to make us better because we're playing good competition every day in practice. The Hoops for Healing tournament begins Monday and gives the Huskies a chance to start the season off on the right foot. Powers elaborated on the significance of the tournament on and off the court. The Hoops for Healing tournament, more important than the wins and losses, it's for an unbelievable cause. And uh, for Camp Hope, which we're raising money for kids whose moms or dads have cancer to send them to camp. And our boys are invested in that and, and want to do the right thing there. Uh, the tournament is considered one of the best Thanksgiving tournaments in the state of Illinois. And uh, that's pretty impressive. To open up your first two games and play Hinsdale Central and West Aurora, two storied programs, to, to start the game. We fi we'll find out right away what we're made of and we're playing against great competition from day one. Powers has been the head coach for the Huskies since 2008 and has noticed a cultural change around the program. Eight years here uh, has been a joy for me. It's a real joy to be at this school and be a Husky. Um, one of the things that we had when I was at Timothy Christian, we had unbelievable following, unbelievable uh, fan support. Our gym was always packed at Timothy. Now, if you come to our game the last two, three years, the same thing's happening here. And I just absolutely love when a gym's packed, and the band's playing, and parents are there. What a great atmosphere we've created here. So that's the first thing I've noticed. The second thing is that uh, we, we're very fortunate to have kids that have bought into our program and uh, our shooting when I came here wasn't as good as I think it is now. And I think that shooting has really, really helped us progress as, as a team. Naperville North begins tournament play on Monday against Hinsdale Central. Subsequently, they play Tuesday against West Aurora. Both games are at 7 and at Naperville North. From the North Star, I'm Sam Oppenheim.